Do you want to study one of the top ranked universities in United States on fully funded scholarship? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, I will introduce you one of the most prestigious United States scholarship program that is Fulbright. Each year, around 8,000 scholarships are awarded in 160 countries around the globe. Each country has its specific quota and a specific number of scholarship for each year. In this video, I will mainly discuss about uh, Fulbright scholarship for Pakistani students. If you are not from Pakistan, then you should write Fulbright scholarship on Google and then write your country name. For example, Fulbright scholarship Afghanistan, Fulbright scholarship India, Fulbright scholarship Bangladesh. And then you will have a separate website for uh, for uh, your country and there will be different uh, set of instructions to apply for this scholarship. In the description of this video, I'm giving you two links for Fulbright Scholarship India and Fulbright Scholarship Pakistan. Just uh, follow the link and read the instruction and prepare your application and apply for this prestigious scholarship. Currently, applications are open for the year 2023 and the deadline uh, to apply for this scholarship is 11th May 2022. After that, uh, the application review and interview uh, process will begin that will continue until the end of September and the final results will be announced in mid of October. And the successful candidates will be placed to different universities in February. And after that, the visa application and interview process will begin that will continue until the end of June. The departure to US will start from July to onward, depending on the university reporting time. Now let's talk about eligibility criteria. The first eligibility criteria is you should be a Pakistani citizen and you are willing to return your country to serve on uh, the same amount of time that you will spend in United States. For example, uh, if you are selected for master's degree and you spend two years in United States, then you have to sign a bound uh, with the uh, higher education commission that you will return to Pakistan after completion of your master's degree and you will serve a uh, minimum of two years in public sector. Uh, then after that, uh, you will able to go back again to United States. But before that, you cannot, you have to sign a bound for that. If you are applying for master's degree, you must have uh, four years of bachelor's degree or 16 years of uh, formal education. Similarly, if you are applying for a PhD program, uh, you must have a master's degree or MPhil degree or equivalent or uh, uh, 18 years of formal education to apply for this scholarship. If you have a US and Pakistani dual nationality or your parent, sibling, spouse have a US citizenship or permanent residence, then you are not eligible for this award. Similarly, if you are already uh, staying in United States and working or studying and want to pursue this scholarship, then you are not eligible. Uh, one more class related to ineligibility is that if you already have a full bright scholarship for any degree, uh, for example, you already avail Fulbright for master's degree and you want to uh, pursue a PhD degree uh, for the same uh, scholarship, you are not eligible to avail this scholarship two times. So these are the eligibility and ineligibility criteria for Fulbright scholarship. If you are selected for this scholarship, uh, you will receive a monthly stipend of 1000 to 2500 US dollar uh, depending on your program and university and uh, also your tuition fee, uh, textbook expenses, uh, airfare and health insurance will be covered by this scholarship. Well, if you want to apply for this scholarship, you must have to prepare some documents and one of them is your CV. 
uh, your transcript and uh, your degree uh, these two documents should be attested from HEC apart from that you have uh, GRE test score GRE journal and the minimum criteria to apply for uh, this scholarship you must have uh, 138 in verbal section and 136 in quantitative section to be eligible to apply for this scholarship so the one hurdle to apply for this scholarship is to have gre but you should prepare gre test because there is a lot of time if you start to prepare now you can have your good result i'm sure if you want to practice your gre test uh, then there is a Fulbright section at FC College Lahore. You should go there. Uh, they will definitely help you to suggest you the best material to prepare your GRE exam. And also they conduct mock tests. And I will highly recommend you uh, to register yourself for the mock test before taking the real GRE. It will definitely uh, improve your results in, uh, in your GRE exam. If you are currently attending uh, or teaching HEC approved Pakistani public universities, then there is a good news for you. You, you are eligible to reimburse your uh, GRE test fee uh, if you score uh, more than a certain number. For example, if your field of education is engineering and science and you have uh, more than 300 in GRE, then you are eligible for reimbursement. Uh, and uh, similarly, if your uh, field of education is humanities and social sciences and you have uh, more than 290 uh, score in GRE, then you are also eligible for the reimbursement. Apart from that, you have to write statement of purpose where you have to describe your motivation, uh, your future goal and uh, your academic uh, background uh, to relate uh, your motivation towards the program in which you are going to apply uh, in 700 to 750 words. Uh, another document, another certificate that you will require is the TOEFL, but it is not uh, necessary that you have TOEFL results when you are applying. So you can have uh, TOEFL results when you are selected for this scholarship. It's not like mandatory. Uh, to apply for this scholarship but GRE and statement of purpose these are the two documents that are really important uh, to be competitive in this scholarship to apply for this scholarship you also need three recommendation letters from your teachers or professors and uh, you have to tell your professors that you are uh, going to give their information to a uh, Fulbright portal uh, so they will contact your professor via email uh, and then your professor has to write the recommendation and send it directly to the Fulbright uh, uh, Scholarship Admission Committee. So this is the procedure how your professor uh, will write the recommendation letter for you. But you have to first uh, uh, tell your teacher or professor that you are going to give uh, their information. Uh, for this scholarship application. When you have all the required documents in your hand, then simply go to the Fulbright uh, website. Uh, the link of that website is in the description of this video. Just click on that and start your online application by creating your account on the website. After filling all the uh, uh, required information you have to attach all these documents like GRE result, TOEFL results, uh, three recommendation letter and then simply review your all the information and submit the online application. So after the uh, application review if you remain successful then uh, the, the Fulbright team will contact you for an interview and you have to go to the US Embassy in Islamabad to to give this interview and after that if you are successful then in the mid of October you will have a final notification uh, of your uh, selection for this prestigious scholarship. 
i hope you like this video and i hope this video give you some information how you can uh, study in united states on fully funded scholarship uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel until next video take care bye bye